When we talk about fall protection training, we often speak about fall impact and the energy created when a person falls. In essence, CSA standard has set the maximum limit that uh, the energy to be exerted on the body at 1800 pounds or nine kilonewtons. So in essence, what we want is we want to ensure that the energy created during the arrest of a fall be lower or at that maximum limit. Essentially how we do this is by obviously integrating an energy absorber in our fall protection system and ensuring that our free fall is limited to the shortest distance possible and Technically, normally we talk about uh, a free fall being between four and six feet. Limiting that free fall distance will ensure that the energy created during the fall is dissipated and arrested with our energy absorber under that 1800 pounds or nine kilonewtons.